Okay, so let's get right to it. We got our nice chicken. And let's just toss her in the oven there. Now that is a nice piece of chicken if I've ever seen one. Gently kind of drop them into our water here. So I'll pulse away. A little bit of green onion, bam. And that's the dish. Yeah, boy. It's Chef Jay, and we're back for another day with a nice, delicious meal. Uh, in store today, we have a garlic roasted whole chicken. Uh, we're gonna throw that baby in the oven. We're going to cook some fingerling potatoes, salt and vinegar, fingerling potatoes, and then we're gonna make a nice, fresh pesto to pour over that chicken. So, I'm gonna get this coat on here, and then we're going to get started with our chicken because that's gonna take a long time to cook in the oven. Um, so, Let's get to it. Here's our nice smorgasbord of ingredients. Not too, too many things for this meal. It's gonna be nice, clean, and simple. But what we do have is some fresh basil, chives, rosemary, head of garlic, fingerling potatoes, toasted pine nuts, whole chicken here, some white wine vinegar, and finally some olive oil for the pesto. Okay, so before we get started, knife is nice and razor sharp. We got our big board ready to go. Okay, so let's get right to it. We got our nice chicken. Slap it down on our board here. And then we're going to butterfly it just to make this thing cook a little quicker. Um, I put down some saran wrap to keep this uh, cutting board safe from the raw chicken because we're gonna use it later. And uh, what we're gonna do is just remove this spine here down the middle. So you start up top and just kind of find the empty space and just slice your way through. We're gonna open it up here and then We'll take the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so spine is out and we're going to put it onto a baking sheet here. So as you can see here, we got these nice breasts up top. These nice little breasts. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Two legs, two wings. So what we're gonna do is get this baby nice and seasoned and then uh, while that's cooking in the oven, we'll get our other stuff ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is take some of this garlic, cut it up, mince it, and kind of tuck it under that skin of the chicken to really infuse this garlic flavor in there. And then we're just gonna rough chop this stuff up into some small pieces here. And then we're gonna do our little mincing technique. Just squish and pull. So what we're gonna do is take this, set it aside. What we're gonna do is kind of lift up the skin right here underneath these breasts and kind of pull the skin apart from the actual meat. And if you can see, I can get my finger in there. This process isn't too glamorous, as you can see. Kind of just loosening all this skin, um, and the garlic is gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna take a little garlic, lift up this skin here, and just get all that right in there. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and really just force that stuff way in there. Get in there nice and deep. So then we got a little room under here, on the thighs to make room for some garlic and find our way into the thigh. Then take the last of our garlic, really get that into this side. Okay, so the dirty work is done for this garlic. Let's get it seasoned, get some oil on it, salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of rosemary, that's it. So we're gonna take our trusty olive oil, give this thing a nice healthy douse. So this is gonna, one, let the spices stick to it and two, get the skin nice and crispy. A little salt, a little cracked pepper, a little paprika, and some crushed red pepper for some heat. So now we're gonna take some of this fresh rosemary. Um, I'm gonna lay some on top and also gonna hide some underneath to let the aromas kind of uh, steam up and soak into the chicken here. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of sneak some under there. Take this whole thing and just swoop, slide it off and just give the top just a little sprinkle of this stuff here. Okay, so our chicken is nicely seasoned. Uh, we're gonna take this bad boy and toss it in the oven at about 400 degrees or so and let that cook for about 40 minutes, and in the meantime, we're gonna get everything else prepared and ready to go. And let's just toss her in the oven there. All right, so now the chicken is in the oven and cooking. We're gonna get our fingerling potatoes prepared. Um, and what we're gonna do to these, we're gonna boil them first to make sure the center is nice and soft, and then we're gonna pan sear them in a nice cast iron skillet to make the edges nice and crispy. And we're gonna boil them in kind of a salty vinegar solution, and we're gonna come out with some salt and vinegar fingerling potatoes. And in order to make these salt and vinegar fingerling potatoes, obviously we're gonna need some salt and about a cup or so of vinegar. Ingredients added, we're gonna let that come to a boil and uh, throw the potatoes in. 
All right, so we're gonna take our potatoes here, and what we're gonna do is just kind of take these and split them down lengthways, just like this. Okay, so potatoes are cut. Let's get these babies thrown into our bowl and ready for their little bath. Gently kind of drop them into our water here. And we're gonna bring these things back up to a boil and then we're gonna let them cook in here for about 15 minutes or so uh, and then we'll pull them out. While all our chicken and potatoes are cooking away, we're gonna prepare our pesto. We're gonna take these leaves and just kind of pluck them off the stem. Okay, so we got our basil. Now let's take a couple cloves of garlic. Let's get our pine nuts. Let's try some of these guys. No, I just eat this whole bag. Okay, so here's our ingredients and let's take all this stuff over to the blender. Fresh basil, that's going in there too. So I'll pulse away. That's pretty much it. So that pesto is gonna sit there. Um, I only added about half the oil because I'm gonna let the rest of this stuff cook and right before we're about to serve, I'm gonna finish this pesto off with the rest of the oil, add a little bit of cheese in there as well, some pecorino cheese or some little uh, zing to it. Um, so now we pretty much just wait. All right, so the timer has gone off. Let's check on this chicken. I'm not sure if it's quite done yet, but. Oh, wow. That is looking very good though. Nice and roasted. Ho ho! Now that. It's a nice piece of chicken if I've ever seen one. Oh, I can smell the rosemary too, it's nice and fresh. Oh, it feels done. Let it cool for probably about 10 minutes. All right, so that chicken is done. Uh, pretty much it's gonna finish off when it's resting for 10 minutes, it's gonna finish cooking and be perfect. So while that's cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and get our nice cast iron pan here. This thing is super heavy. Um, I'm gonna throw it in the oven and let it warm up just because one, it heats up faster and more evenly if you throw it in the oven before you throw it on the stove. So I'm gonna pop this baby in the oven for a couple minutes. Uh, let it get nice and toasty. Okay, so potatoes are done boiling. Take this, throw it on our burner. We're gonna put down a healthy portion of olive oil. Drop those babies right in there. A little bit of salt since we kind of had a, a heavy salt in the bath there. We're also gonna hit it with some black pepper here. Okay, so let those keep cooking. In the meantime, we're gonna chop up some chives, create some cheese for the pesto, and then we should be good to take these babies off the skillet and get the chicken cut up and ready to be plated. Okay, so these potatoes should be good to go. Um, oh yeah, they're nice and dark and crispy on one side here. All right, so potatoes are done. We're gonna let them cool. Chicken's done. Let's cut this baby up. Look how nice that looks. Crispy skin, nice and cooked. All right, so what we're gonna do here is lift this thigh up here. It's almost pulling off and just follow the groove here. Boom. All right, and then let's just get this second one here. Okay, so there's two nice breasts. Nice thighs, I mean, again. So you got these nice two. Has a chicken, perfectly cooked in the center. Let's try this chicken. Wow, nice and moist, flavorful. That's good stuff. There you have it. Four nice quarters of chicken. Bada bing. Get that. <laughs> So the whole chicken is cut, looking beautiful in all its glory. We're going to get our potatoes, throw them in a bowl, um, toss them with the green onions, and then we will finish our pesto and start plating. All right, so we're gonna take our chives, slice these into small little pieces. Then we're gonna take our pecorino cheese and just shred a good amount of this. Let's take our green onions, give this a little bowl flip. Okay, there's that. Okay, so the food's pretty much done. Uh, last but not least, we're going to add this uh, pecorino cheese and a little bit more olive oil to our pesto to finish it off. Um, season it with some salt and pepper and then plating time, baby. A nice healthy portion of cheese here. Let's get our salt, pepper, cover that thing back up. Turn this baby back on. Get some olive oil. Boom, and that pesto's done. Okay, it's time to plate. Let's take a nice handful of these. One little toss here. Very nicely up in this corner up here. These are still pretty hot. Kind of hurts my hand. Oh! Take our nice, nice chicken thigh here. Place that right there. And then we're just going to take our nice pesto and kind of make a little pool right here. Perfect. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of green onion. Bam. And that's the dish. All right, so here is our nice roasted chicken with our salt and vinegar potatoes and our nice fresh homemade basil on the side. That is looking really good. So I'm gonna sit down, try this meal we got here. Cause I'm hungry. Get in my belly! Okay, meal's done. I'm excited to try this one. So first I'm gonna dive into these nice uh, salt and vinegar potatoes. That's got a nice and crispy edge. And we really taste the vinegar that we boil these things in. It kind of tastes like a salt and vinegar potato chip just a little less harsh. All right, let me just try this pesto by itself before 
I dip this chicken in. Ooh, wow. So fresh. That's nice. Those pine nuts really add a nice nutty flavor to it. All right, so let's try this chicken. Nice and crispy on the skin. I like the dark meat, so I gave myself a nice thigh here. Mmm. So tender, so moist. The rosemary gives it that nice aroma, nice herby flavor. Honestly, those complement each other very well. This um, this turned out better than I thought it would, to be honest. I was a little nervous going in since I never made pesto before, but this actually came out awesome. It's pretty healthy. The chicken's baked, the potatoes are boiled and seared. Pesto is pretty much just basil and, and olive oil. I'll give this meal two thumbs up. It's pretty good. I'm going to keep body in this meal here with its slam sauce. While I do that, you guys don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit that button, like this video if you like this meal, you want to try it yourself, check it out, send me a picture, and follow your boy on Instagram at thatguychefj, and that's it, so I will see you guys next time, take it easy, peace! Hey Sass and Kilo here, you know, I came home late in the fridge or some chicken and some pesto, as you may know already. I, I took a cold piece of chicken. Poured the pesto up in that cold piece of chicken. Pesto was done phenomenally. You know, the basil, pine nuts. I don't even know what Chef J did here. Chef J, you did it again. God bless America and no place else. Kid was hungry. Kid ate. You didn't get to see Kilo do his little taste test bite. Bite of Dorini Johnson. Bitch, what? But pesto, taste eight and a half. Chicken, 7.65. <laughs> Excellent job. <laughs> Mom! Oh!